New images are being released of the Manchester bomber as we talk with the McNeese student who was on his way to the city when the attack happened. And Philippine police say 36 people have died this morning in addition to a gunman after an attack on a Manila casino. And in our first alert forecast, we are tracking a rain chance to return today with those afternoon showers and storms, which will stick around for the next several days. I'll have more on that, and we'll finally see a nice stretch of sun return all coming up in your first alert forecast. Sponsored by Nissan of Lake Charles. At your service with news for Southwest Louisiana. This is 7 News Sunrise. Good hey, look morning. what we have right Hal. here. It's, it's National Donut Day. Goodness, look at this, Hal. Oh, my gosh. This is from Dino's. Yeah, it, it don't oh act like you were embarrassed you were on the air. Oh, my gosh, someone saw Hal's backside. What's he going to do now? <laughs> Hal just brought us some uh, variety. What a menagerie. Is Zeno's that what Donuts, yeah, thank, thank you. you. On this National Donut Day, what can ah. make a Friday sweeter than that? It yes. got started by the Salvation Army, and uh, the Salvation Army used to hand out donuts, and that's how they started National Donut Day. Several donut places are offering a free donut to different. I'm not okay. sure if Dino's is. Don't, don't go they there. They smell good. Yeah, they smell good. Uh, they taste good. Regardless. You might get a sample at okay. a donut shop today. All right, let's Thank take you. a look at We're that We're going to get a sample of that. Yeah, while John and Brittany enjoy a donut, how about <laughs> that right now? Temperatures outside in the 70s, uh, currently 76 degrees. Lake Charles Sulphur at 75. De Quincey now at 73. We've got 73 as well for De Ritter. The radar is on a clean sweep this morning. There were a couple of showers over Cameron Parish earlier. Those have since ended. And the only thing we're seeing now is a little bit of a sprinkle or two, maybe over closer to the Vinton Edgerly area up towards Starks. But even those showers are quickly coming to an end for this morning. Rain chances staying low. Into the morning hours, only about a 20% chance of a shower this afternoon, though. Going up a little bit higher, we'll have a 40% rain chance. Our biggest problem this morning is going to be dealing with some fog like we're seeing right now on our Derrida Sky Cam, some of that getting closer to ground level. So watch out as you're traveling. Maybe uh, make sure to use those low beam headlights. We'll take a look at the South Lake Charles Sky Cam as well. Not as much visibility issues, but you can certainly tell there's a little bit of fog in the air this morning. We'll have more on the rain chances for the weekend coming up in just a few minutes. One now in a developing story this morning, police in Manchester, England are releasing new images of suicide bomber Salman Abedi from the days leading up to the attack. The screenshots were captured by security cameras at several locations around Manchester. Police say Abedi arrived back in England on May 18th. That's just four days before the bombing at an Ariana Grande concert that killed 22 people. Greater Manchester police are appealing to the public for more help in tracking his movements. They say he purchased parts for his bomb in the days leading up to the attack. Officers are still trying to determine whether Abadi was part of a wider network, something they have not yet ruled out. Well, a McNeese State University student was on his way back home to Manchester in England when the terrorist attack occurred, killing 22 people. KBLC's Kayla Corvell joins us this morning after speaking to the student. Kayla, what did he say he experienced? Well, Brad Travis found out about what was happening at home when he was boarding his flight from London to Manchester after leaving Lake Charles for summer break. Travis said he was unsure what had happened until he landed in Manchester and saw emergency vehicles with injured people in the city. City. Travis said he had friends at the concert, none of which were injured. He says he wasn't shocked when he found out that it was a terrorist attack because it's happening so often in the world today. However, the attack in Manchester, he says, has had an impact on surrounding cities. There's been like big, big raids on the houses and stuff. Uh, they think it's more of a network um, than, than just one person. So um, they're looking into, you know, who, who could have made the bomb, I guess, and uh, everyone else who's, you know, involved. And I think I don't think it's just Manchester. Though. Like every kind of uh, town and city, there's armed police and stuff around, um, just in case for protection. And stuff. Travis says after the attack, he's trying not to think about it happening again. And whether he's in Manchester or Southwest Louisiana, he feels just as safe. John and Brittany. All right, uh, it's 6.04 now, and officials say one person is reported missing after an explosion at a corn mill in De Quincey has been found deceased. The Columbia County Sheriff's Office says the body was found around 6 p.m. Central Time Thursday in Columbia County, Wisconsin. They say one person still remains missing. 
At least two people died. Eleven others were injured when an explosion rocked the corn processing facility in Cambria late Wednesday night. Officials say they do not know what caused the blast, and the investigation has been difficult because of the compromised safety of the structure. Philippine police say 36 people died in addition to the gunman during an attack on a casino in Manila. Resorts World Manila says the gunman fired shots and set gaming tables on fire. In the chaos, police, uh, people fled the casino. The dead were killed by smoke inhalation. Police say the suspect apparently killed himself with his rifle on the fifth floor of the complex. Comedian Kathy Griffin will hold a news conference today after releasing a controversial photograph earlier this week. Griffin and her attorney, Lisa Bloom, will hold the news conference inside Bloom's firm in Woodland Hills, California. Griffin plans to address the true motivation behind the image she released of herself holding what was meant to look like President Donald Trump's severed head. Griffin has since lost endorsement deals, at least one club engagement, and a job with CNN. President Trump announces he's pulling the U.S. out of a landmark global coalition to slow climate change. He announced America's withdrawal from the Paris Climate Accord during a Rose Garden ceremony yesterday afternoon. The president claimed the deal benefited other countries at the direct expense of American jobs and economic growth, while giving heavy polluters such as China and India advantages over the U.S. And hearkening back to his America First campaign themes, the president proclaims he represents the From citizens Paris. of Pittsburgh, not Paris. What? Well, could it be a sign of growth in our area? Next, the newest addition to a major draw here in Lake Charles. At 6.06, you're watching 7 News Sunrise on KPLC. Get the news you want now on every device and every platform. Download the 7 News Now mobile app today. Attention bargain hunters, get half off gift certificates with KPLC's 50-50 Thursdays. This Thursday at noon, be one of the first 50 people to log on to KPLCTV.com for the opportunity to buy a $50 gift certificate for half the price. Visit Jack Daniels Bar and Grill at Le Barish Casino Resort. Enjoy burgers, beer, and Jack, and some great live country bands. With KPLC's 50-50 Thursdays, savings are just a click away. For when it's not quite an emergency, Family Physicians Urgent Care is located on City Service Highway in front of Lowe's. We're open 8 to 8 during the week and 9 to 5 on the weekends. KPLCConnections.com, your link to Southwest Louisiana. For all your furniture and bedding needs, come by and see why New Look Furniture has been voted the number one furniture store six years in a row. New Look Furniture, we save you money! KPLCConnections.com I'm attorney Gordon McKernan. Over the years, you've probably seen hundreds of commercials about what my law firm has done for our clients. But the relationships we build with our clients matter most. It's like the relationship that I have with my high school sweetheart and wife of over 25 years and our four children. Relationships are everything to me. That's why at Gordon McKernan Injury Attorneys, not only are we committed to working tirelessly for you, but more importantly, we care about you. I'm Gordon McKernan, and we all approve this message. Get Gordon. Call 888-8888. Our KPLC 7 Sports Person of the Week is UL Lafayette ace Gunner Legend. The Barb alum was named a semifinalist for the Golden Spikes Award, which is the Heisman Trophy of college baseball. The 2017 Sunbelt Conference Pitcher of the Year posted 10 victories, 84 strikeouts, and a 1.97 ERA in his junior season. The 7 Sports Person of the Week is sponsored by Billy Navarre. With quick service and low prices, we challenge any dealer in America to beat. Wherever you are, we are. Get your news and weather on the go. Download the KPLC News and Weather apps today. Sponsored by LaBerge Casino Resort. The 7 Storm Team Sky Cam Network is sponsored by Billy Navarre. With quick service and low prices, we challenge any dealer in America to beat. 
608, the pool cast for today this afternoon. If you're heading out on this Friday and maybe enjoy the weather, you may be dodging a few storms. That's when our best chances will pop up. It will come this afternoon. 85 degrees at 2 p.m. Those highs today will be warm. Upper 80s, it's going to feel about like 90 out there around those thunderstorms. So that, uh, of course, the daytime heating will be what uh, does trigger and fuel a lot of the storms that we see later today. Right now in, in DeRitter, it's 73 and, cl and uh, cloudy and foggy this morning. Visibility is down to 2 miles now. So, uh, of course, uh, that's, like we said, our bigger problem. Yesterday morning we had the rain. That was the bigger problem. This morning it's the fog that a lot of southwest Louisiana that will be uh, slowing folks down. Remember to use those low beam headlights. So sometimes you forget. You become a sort of a, not only dangerous for other drivers, but mm -hmm. you put yourself in danger. Mm -hmm. You don't use those headlights it and it's foggy. Right yeah. back Gosh, action. I was uh, stuck in the parking lot that became on I-10 yesterday. Yeah, you can't right. imagine in the rain how many people didn't have their headlights on, yeah. too. So dangerous. You can get a ticket for that. Mm -hmm. Here's your trivia question this morning. Let's ask it and uh, see who won. What's the tallest building in New York? You know, a long time ago, used to be the... Uh, Empire State, Empire State Building. Building. But with, what is it now? And Any the answer guesses? is One World Trade Center. That's right. Sylvia, Sylvia Bro from Sulphur got it right. Congratulations. Sylvia, you win a Sunrise Coffee Mug, a signature crafted extra value meal from McDonald's, and only one winner per household every 90 days. Thanks for playing today. It's 610 now, and a Lake Charles man is in jail this morning after shooting another man while playing Russian roulette in the area of Prater and Knapp Streets. It's all happened Tuesday evening. 27-year-old Romain Boutte was uh, arrested on charges of negligent injuring, illegal use of a dangerous instrument, and illegal possession of a stolen firearm. The man who was shot was taken to the local hospital for treatment. Well, with more and more people discovering Lake Charles every year, some casinos are adjusting for the increased demand for hotel rooms. The Golden Nugget just opened its brand new Rush Tower. It sold out the first weekend in business. The new tower offers more than 350 additional hotel rooms. Golden Nugget now has a total of 1,100 rooms. And the general manager saw the demand for a second tower quickly after Golden Nugget opened in 2014. I think the question was when, you know, when do we build it? And uh, after opening in December 14, we quickly saw that there was more demand than supply in the market. So we made a decision really in 2015 to go to the drawing board to, to, to build the new tower. Golden Nugget says the Rush Tower brings at least 100 new jobs to the area. The tower is also expected to grow the Golden Nugget's revenue by about 20%. So big money investment there. Mm -hmm. Outdoor expert Hal McMillan makes his second appearance this morning. Okay. <laughs> the front side this time. He's got some fishing <laughs> reports to share with us. You don't want to miss that coming up. Ben's also got the fishing forecast after the break at 611. You're watching 7 News Sunrise on KPLC. This is the toughest challenge of my life. We got it! From the producers of American Ninja Warrior comes the return of Spartan, the ultimate team challenge. Teamwork is more important than ever before. He's my brother, my best friend, and my hero. Wow! It doesn't matter if you're missing a leg, you're missing an arm. Do you believe in yourself and the people around you? You can conquer anything. All new Spartan premieres after American Ninja Warrior, June 12th on NBC. It's that time of year again. McNeese Leisure Learning invites children grades 1 through 8 to join them for Kids College Summer Camp, a STEM adventure. From May 29th through August 11th, children can choose from 11 different themed week-long programs packed with fun and adventure. Children can be registered for a week, a month, or the whole summer. To get them signed up, visit mcneese.edu slash leisure or call 475-5616. You ready to go camping? Well, yeah, Gavin. Let's go through the checklist. Let's check the water lines and fixtures for leaks. Southern stocks all the plumbing fittings you need to get going. Is the AC and refrigerator working? I sure hope so. I hate to be hot or have hot drinks. Southern stocks several models of ACs and refrigerators. Don't forget to check the lights. How many bulbs do you think we need? You know they burn out fast. Southern stocks 12-volt LED bulbs that last up to 50,000 hours. Let's make our first stop. Southern Mobile Home and RV Supply. 
Don't put up with that bumpy driveway. Let Pork Aggregates pave the way. We've earned our reputation for providing the highest quality materials and skilled contractors. Port Aggregates is the largest producer of concrete in Louisiana, so we'll get the job done right, on time, every time. Whether you have major construction or a minor addition, Port Aggregates can create a solid foundation for your next project. Concrete, limestone, and precast. Port Aggregates delivers. I've been shopping for the best deal on a new appliance. I've checked online, sales papers, and the prices keep changing. We have a new computer. I got this one. We have a special computer in the store that checks the prices of our competitors every day to make sure we got the best deals on everything that you need. Thanks. That makes it easy. That's what we do. I told you I had it covered. Come to CNC Home Appliances for the best selection and the lowest prices guaranteed. From the Seven Storm Team, your first alert weather with meteorologist Ben Terry. 614, now looking at, uh, again, our traffic. This is I-210 from top of the Golden Nugget this morning. A little bit of reduction in the visibility, so definitely uh, use those low beam headlights this morning. Chance of rain, though, is low. We've had a couple of coastal showers already this morning. Those have fizzled out, so no major impacts for the commute this morning. Largely uh, dry across the state as a whole this morning, so if you're about to hit I-10, maybe heading toward Lafayette or over toward Baton Rouge, New Orleans, not seeing any problems there. Really not even having any issues over toward Beaumont or Houston either this morning. So pretty good uh, drive on this Friday morning. Of course, I am looking for storm chances to increase this afternoon in the form of those widely scattered showers and storms that a lot of us will be dealing with after the lunch hour. Right now, 76, though. It is very warm this morning. Cameron, 79. We've got 73 in the Quincy and in Ritter. And looking at the hour-by-hour -hour forecast, we'll be back up into the 80s by mid-morning, mid to upper 80s for highs today. Those winds will be light out of the east. We're not going to see much of a breeze today, maybe 5 to 10 miles per hour. So fairly light winds. Temperatures, of course, warm. But the rain chance is going back up by noon. We're at 40%. We'll continue to see that chance of rain at about 40% on through your afternoon drive. Future cast this morning. This is our future radar. And like we've been using it all week, it hasn't really been doing a very good job at uh, modeling out our future. Uh, in fact, it's showing a little bit of shower activity over us now. That's not really the case. But by this afternoon, there will be some of these pop-up showers and thunderstorms sort of drifting in from east to west across the area. So something we'll be monitoring, of course, the storm that pop up today could be slow movers. So there could be a couple of isolated localized spots that pick up some heavier downpours while your neighbor down the road may miss out. That's kind of what we're going to be dealing with for today. And with that said, of course, downtown at sundown occurring in downtown Lake Charles on Ryan Street. Will there be some rain out there this afternoon? Yes. Will it fall right over the tent, right over Ryan Street? That's the question we're going to be dealing with is with the storms that pop up today. There will be about a 30% chance this evening there could be a shower or thunderstorm lingering there close to uh, the kickoff there. So, of course, the decision will be made later today whether or not they're going to have it out there. But I will say, not expecting a washout, no storms with them being hit and miss in variety, could very well likely go around a lot of the activities that are going on downtown this evening. So that's kind of the way, we, way we'll be playing it out. Into the tropics we go where we have our tropical storm, now a depression moving into Mexico over on the eastern Pacific side. This will be torn apart and what's left of it, the remnants of it, the moisture associated with it, already pulling up into the Gulf of Mexico. And that's also where we'll be enhancing our rain chances for this weekend. No sort of organization or reorganization expected from that. But as we go into Saturday and Sunday, those daily rain chances will be enhanced just a bit more. In fact, I think there will be a better coverage tomorrow and Sunday of those downpours that we'll see across the area on into the early part of next week. So while it will not rain all day, there will be some breaks in between that rain. There will be some rain that we'll deal with really on into Monday and Tuesday because of that tropical influx off the Gulf that sticks around into the early part of next week. A front by Wednesday will move on in, push some drier air in. That will finally cut off that flow off the tropics and give our area a little bit of a break in the humidity as well. We'll have some cooler mornings perhaps toward uh, middle to latter half of next week. 87 for that high today. Widely scattered showers and thunderstorms this afternoon. About a 40% chance. Mostly cloudy tonight. A shower possible mainly in the early evening and then overnight. Looks pretty quiet. And of course, rain chances tomorrow tomorrow, right on in through early next week, back up to about a 60% chance. Again, mainly of those afternoon downpours we'll see a good bit of all the way
the way through next Tuesday before some dry weather returns. Highs in the 80s and lows in the 70s. That's a look at your forecast. Now we'll send it over to John and Hal. 618 fishing uh, underway here in southwest Louisiana and uh, Hal McMillan is here with us to uh, give us a fishing update. First thing we need to do is remind everybody to renew their fishing license. Yes, yes, it is that time of year, June 1st, uh, hurricane season fishing license. Right. Uh, two things you want to do, you want to make sure you want to get out there and renew your fishing license. I'm at the age now, $5, baby. $5, well, hunting fishing that, license. That $5 limit. A $5 right? limit right there. So Very it's good. good shape. Now, the first thing I have to look at, I'm a map lover, and uh, this is uh, the nice? hook and line. These are the greatest maps, aren't they? Yeah, they're waterproof, and of course, it goes all the way from up around the uh, saltwater barrier all the way through the Calcasieu estuary out into the Gulf. Uh, you'll be able to find all your great fishing spots. It's got water depths. It's got where all your boat launches are, mm -hmm. uh, where your structure's at. You need to stop by. I got that one from ship to shore. That's and, cool. Uh, and on the other side here, Sabine uh, it's the Sabine Lake. Yeah, so these got are it right great. there. So We've you got can one of these for Toledo too. And, and they're pretty good. You need that. You need yeah. that in Southwest Louisiana. Know where the uh, spots are. Of course, right now, saltwater fishing. If you're going to be out saltwater fishing, the Star Tournament's on. You want to be sure and and get uh, be a member of the CCA. Get your Star Tournament and get that going. Let me hold up a couple yeah, of that's a uh, guy, a local guy. Clint yeah. Ward does those. Those are spinner baits. They have been really hot. The fish that are being caught are on freshwater. In the marshes and some up on the river, uh, Clint Ward and that spinner baits doing okay. real good. Okay. We used to have a guy from Westlake, JD Courtney. Yeah. Uh, he used Courtney. to make the best baits, and these kind of like what JD used to make. And, he uh, sure was think, good. Also, yeah. this Saturday mm -hmm. you got a trout shootout. Okay. Uh, Salty Catch is doing it. It's uh, with Cajun tackle. Uh -huh. They're going to be down at at Cockshoe Point. If you want to get into a fishing tournament this Saturday, June third, uh, got a little brochure. You can get by there and get all the information you may need. I want to be sure you get out there and do Got that. The star so. tournament? Star mm -hmm. tournament. Uh, star tournament uh, it runs from Memorial Day to Labor Day. It's almost like having an insurance policy because if you catch a tag redfish and you yeah. miss out on winning a boat or a truck or some of the giveaways they have, uh, you want to be sure and be join the CCA, join the star tournament. They put money back. In that is cool. Now, this was Trinity uh, Baptist Church is holding a frogging tournament. Tomorrow. Yes, that's going to be. I, uh, I picked that up when I was at Lake Charles Tackle. I got some of these baits and stuff that I wanted to show, but a frogging tournament. I'd never heard of that. Get the information there. Uh, Trinity Baptist is going to be doing that okay. also. Uh, you brought some show and tell. Well, yeah, and this is this is the uh, rod and reel uh -huh. uh, for, for young kids coming up. You know, we all grew up fishing with Zebco 33s. Right. This is the Zebco Omega, and it's okay. a little tougher. you got a 10-pound test line on okay. here, and uh, the rod's the right size that they can handle it. A uh, nice medium action on that rod. Good starter rod. Starter rod. Real. There's no plastic yeah. parts in here. Right. It's all aluminum, uh, steel ball bearings. Uh, this will work. If you catch a big redfish, it's not going to strip it out of the hands. They're going to have a chance yeah. to land in that fish. And that's Zepco. Gonna be really Zepco Omega. Omega. Uh, Omega. All right. Runs about 80 bucks. These are look, great. These, aren't these good? Cover uh, you real. You know, if you got a rod. young kid, they like the colors. Right. Other end. Started was down there. Uh, right. We'll thread it through. Anyhow, you can do that. You want to do that? <laughs> I can do, do that. That uh, it works it, just yes. right, and it protects all the it protects, uh, it protects all uh, the rise things like and that. The guys okay. and on that. So all right, right here. Hey, clear water. You want to go with these these chartreuse color okay. baits right here? Saltwater wise, of course, mirror lures been real hot. The water's kind of stained up. You yeah. want a darker color right here, so okay. you want to be sure and go with that. And those tackle places you talked about, Cajun Tackle, Lake Charles Tackle, any places you go like that, those guys know. So yes, you can they know. Them. Use the local folks is my uh, tip of the day. Okay. Go in there, talk to them. Uh, of course, uh, they've got a lot of information, a lot of fishermen in and out of there. And uh, if you want to get in this tournament, it's going to be tomorrow. It's The trout shootout used to be by CCA, now Salty Catch is doing it. Mm -hmm. So get by there and get information. Uh, okay. And they'll, they'll be sure and help you. I want to thank our friends once again from Dino's Donuts. It's National Donut Day. Yes, it is. Hey, I want to tell you, too, we had some pictures. I don't mm -hmm. know if we we're going to get Oh, to yeah, them. let's roll uh, those pictures. We uh, we had a couple of really good fishing trips. Uh, that's been drawn myself and with Carter. Uh -huh. uh, it was really rough. That was last Saturday. But uh, he was able to catch a nice red fish. And anytime you take them kids fishing, that's a lot of fun. Yeah. Also, uh, I think May, we got a picture of him in the boat there. Yeah. With one. That was a catfish. Yeah. 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 See, it was pretty rough. Right. right. Yeah, we were, it was. We were uh, Where in was West Coast. West that was Cove. in West Cove. Okay. Uh, we were down by the headquarters reef down there. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But uh, we had live shrimp, and it just wasn't a lot of speckled trout. Right. Now, that's an ice chest full of speckled trout. We caught them on uh, nice. May 6th. It was three of us. Uh, fish with Ben, mm -hmm. his wife Angela again. We had 45. We limited out. We had a limit of specks, two redfish, and a flounder. That was a great day. And on that same day, we saw Pinky. 
Uh, so weren't you yeah. fortunate, Dolphin? I said, "Shoot, I need to." Yeah, take a picture. <laughs> and you got it. Yeah, we got it. Came up right. right there by the boat, so it was it was a really good okay. fishing trip. Thanks for the visit, Hal. Thanks to uh, uh, Dino's. Dino's Donuts for all of our donuts today. They will be much appreciated. <laughs> good, yes. good to see you. See you next month. Hi, John. Boy. Be safe. Renew yes. that fishing license. In our yes. next half hour, an arrest is made in an early morning robbery in Moss Bluff, and a 98-year-old Louisiana woman sets a state record. Guess what she does? It's 6:23. Here's your Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The Pledge of Allegiance on 7 News is sponsored by Lake Charles Toyota. Raise your expectations. When you think about car shopping, do you dread it? Because you wish you could be treated a certain way, but you just know it's going to be so much worse. It's like you have to always be on the defensive, ready for the catch, ready for the confrontation. I know it used to be like that, but it doesn't have to be. Not anymore. Why keep expecting deception? Why keep expecting difficulty? If you start expecting more, then you'll stop settling for less. I'm not trying to sell you anything here. I'm just trying to plant an idea in your mind that you deserve better than you've been expecting. You deserve better than the old way. Raise your expectations. Nothing brings a family together like fun around the backyard pool. Here is your last chance to make that happen, and the price has never been better. For a limited time, Blue World Pools has the big 15 by 24 Econoline pool for not $3.99, not even $3.49. If you call now, that pool can be yours for only $2.99. That price still includes pump, filter, liner, ladder, and a free automatic pool cleaner. All that including free installation on your ready site for just $2.99. That's a $1,995 value for only $2.99. That's awesome! Call Blue World Pools now and take advantage of this incredible offer. Want more pizzazz? Of course you do! So jump up to our midline pool or grab for it all with Blue World Pools Top of the Line Classic Pool. The ultimate in high style living. The choice is yours. But remember, this is your last chance to take advantage of our limited time offer. The price will never get any better than this. How could it? Call Blue World Pools right now and beat that heat! He's enjoying his time off this morning. She's wishing she had the day off this morning. There's a McDonald's for every morning. Enjoy a sausage biscuit burrito or McMuffin for just $1.19 at McDonald's. Right now, get any small McDonald's smoothie, frappe, or shake for $2. How do you top a deal like that? Hurry in. Only at McDonald's. Everything's bigger in Texas, and I think better, too. Like the fresh meat and local products I can always find at Kroger. And it's the only place you can buy my Nolan Ryan Texas beef raised here at home. Kroger is proud to offer you locally grown and sourced foods at low prices. Always fresh, always with a smile. Fire up the grill and save on Nolan Ryan all-natural Texas beef. Right now, it's 25% off. Fresh food, low prices at Kroger. It is uh, 626. A 98-year-old woman from Louisiana breaks a state skydiving record. You have to see this video. Sarah Simmons got the idea to skydive back in March and rounded up a group of seven friends to do it with her. But she did it with a purpose in mind. Simmons got the local Rotary Club to support her jump, raising $4,000 for the National Guard's Youth Challenge Program. Look at her there. Isn't that just bliss? Who's staff at Skydive Louisiana in Gillum says Simmons broke a state record as the oldest skydiver in the state. Her response to the news, just one word, woo. <laughs> she had a great time. Well, Russ Bordelon, former KPLC employee and local com columnist for uh, Lanyat Magazine, died this week at the age of 67. Uh, Russ worked here as an account executive at KPLC from 1977 until he retired in 2008. Active, uh, of course, in all community organizations. Brittany, Ben, and I uh, worked with him in Gridiron for the Ad and Press Club, and uh, he is going to be missed today at 10 at Parkview Baptist in Sulphur. Russ asked for no funeral. He mm -hmm. didn't want any service or anything like that. And uh, but he said he wanted his friends to get together if they wanted to, and uh, and just. Uh, 
celebrate his life, and that's what we're going to do uh, today at 10 o'clock at Parkview Baptist Church. A close friend. I've known Russ since I was like 16 years old mm-hmm. when I was in uh, radio, and uh, this is my favorite picture of him dressed as <laughs> Huey Long. But we're going to celebrate his life today at 10. Anyone who knew Russ is welcome to come by Parkview Baptist there by uh, Spar in Sulphur today at 10, and we'll uh, celebrate his life. Something that's been so special to hear just this past week is mm-hmm. The people that have been close to him, like you and Andy Jacobson, yeah. who works here as well, and a couple yeah. of other people, um, they refer to him as one of their best friends. And I think he yeah. made people feel yeah. that close to him. He just had that yeah. magnetic kind of personality. Yeah, and he's one of those that uh, is is just hard to, to say goodbye to because he was so much a part of life. Mm-hmm. And uh, the world, I put it on my Facebook page, the world is a little less colorful now mm-hmm. that he's gone. We're going to miss him. But we'll celebrate his life today at 10. That's the way to do it. Ben? All right, we'll take an update look at the radar right now. A little fog out there on I-10 for folks making their way out to work this morning. Stay tuned. More 7 News Sunrise next.